Hi everyone. So this question is just asking what happens to y equals f of x when we replace x with 3x, y with 2y, and then we replace x with x plus 2 and y with y plus 1. Now, we want to make sure that we're doing this in the correct order here. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to re replace y with 2y, and we're going to replace f, uh, sorry, x with 3x. Now that's, that's pretty easy to do. These are both related to stretches, it's multiplication. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to replace x with x plus 2 and y with y plus 1. But because I'm replacing y with y plus 1, I replace all of y, okay? So 2 is being multiplied by y, which now means 2 is being multiplied by y plus 1. x is being multiplied by 3, so when I replace x with x plus 2, I put this in parentheses here, so the 3 is multiplied by the whole thing here, okay? And so now, let's identify the transformations. First of all, if I was to isolate the y, the first thing I would do here is divide by 2. Now there it is, that's a vertical stretch by a factor of one half, okay, dividing by two. Then I would subtract one from both sides. So that's going to be a vertical translation, one down. Okay, now we can take a look at the horizontal here. If I was to get the x by itself, one of the things I would have to do here is divide by three. So that's a horizontal, actually I'll just, I'll just do hs. Horizontal stretch, okay, by a factor, whoops, I'm going off screen there, of one third. That's, okay, that's what we're getting here. And then I'd have to subtract the two, which would be a horizontal translation to left when I subtract the two. And so those are the transformations that I would associate with those replacements.